queencitypodcastnetwork.com. Yo, 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 what's cracking? It's your boy Rashad. It's your boy Dave in the building. What's popping with y'all? Your boy is back. Your boy yeah, is back. I mean, the, my man went on vacation while I was getting slandered at throughout this entire PNP fan base throughout the entire week and a half that you were gone, man. What happened, man? What'd you do? I got I got slandered because of my draft picks during the off the mock draft. I got slandered because I said that North Carolina State wasn't a Cinderella team. There was a lot of slandering going on while y'all were away. That's unfortunate. I'm That's just I'm just letting, I'm just I'm just want to remind you guys. I, I want to remind the chat that y'all slandered me a lot. Y'all slandered me about the J Cole situation. Oh, by the way, I, I told y'all. By the way, we'll, we'll we'll come back to that. We'll we'll come back to that. <laughs> Relax. Listen, man, the coal mine has been trying to avoid me for a while now. It's okay. Relax. We'll talk about coal in a minute. Real quick. Uh, yo, <clears throat> I had a, a good time, good week of disconnection that rarely happened. Well, it's, that's not true because I, I do go on vacation quite a bit. But a whole week, or oh, that, that doesn't happen very often. So it's good for me to disconnect. Did come back with something, though, because I am I I don't know. But your boy been sick uh, all day. It's been crazy, um, but uh, but yeah, I'm fighting through it. So we gonna we gonna make it happen. So if I turn away and cough, my apologies. I try not to call into the mic. Pause. Um, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, man. So we we gonna fight through it. We gonna fight through it. Uh, but yeah, man. Dave, great cruise. Good time. I had a blast. Had a blast. That's what's up, man. You know, I haven't gone on a cruise since the pandemic. Maybe I should break that streak. Uh, at some point, maybe I'll hop on a boat. Not this year, though. I, my vacation is already packed to the gills at this point. I already used up all my leave for the year. Yeah. No, uh, we got a super chat. Shout out to J Dragon 91. Will y'all be at the live draft in Detroit? No. Nah, nah but we nah, do nah. do a live draft show here. And we will yeah. be doing that, including the first round where we ain't got no pick. We will be doing yeah. that. Appreciate the Yeah, super yeah. Chat. No, no going to Detroit. I can't go because I got dance competition uh, that weekend. So I'm not going nowhere. Oh. So oh. dance dad, dance dad duties uh all weekend for your boy. Uh what's good, uh Black Ball Enterprise? Uh, what's up, fellas? Uh we chilling, man. We chilling. We in here. We in here. All right, Dave. What what do you want to talk about, man? WrestleMania? Is that did you want to talk about WrestleMania? Yeah, man. Like I haven't I gotta go catch a couple things because I didn't get to watch everything. My daughter actually was out here doing musicals last weekend. So I had to go to those. So, you know, my daughter was in a play. Um, you know, she had one line. Um, but one thing is clear, man. It is amazing what they allow high schools to do. And I'll leave it at that. It is amazing. Like, I showed the video of my daughter's one-liner, and everybody was like, whoa, that was in high school? It's like, yeah. It's that, it was the French play Les Morales, Los Les Morales or something like that. It's like a big theater show in New only, York. Only Morales I know, Dave, is Miles. So I don't know what I you're probably talking said about. It, I, I probably said it wrong, all right? I'm not <laughs> French. I'm not not my swim lane. Uh, but but if we want to talk about WrestleMania, WrestleMania was awesome. The, the matches that I saw, I still need to watch McIntyre and the cash in that Damian Priest did. Yeah, but it was good. I caught I caught the highlights of it, which was pretty good. But I want to see the match. Um, but uh, what I uh the way that they did the Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns match was sp- spectacular. That, I don't know, I, man. I'm, I, I play. Yo, I, man. I play a little bit of devil's advocate there. I thought it was a bit much. <clears throat> uh, I thought, you know, I thought there was a better. They could have got somebody better than Undertaker to come in right there. Um, I, I thought, I thought it was a lot. I like, I like the spot with with Reigns and uh, and him hitting the, hit, hitting Seth with the chair. I like that. That was that dope. Was, no, that was Seth's kiss. Like that was beautiful. That was dope. That was dope. Now that was dope. But Cena coming in, all that, I was like, bro, this well, is too much. Well, no, well, it, but it made the the only one that you can probably say that did not make sense was the Taker appearance. But then again, mm-hmm. any uh, who else could have came out? Stone Cold would have been much better. Yo, it would have. Like right sometimes there. you can't get Stone Cold. Like sometimes Stone Cold is like, I'm good. This is the same guy that randomly said, I'm done with this, and walked out. Yes, I agree. Stone Cold probably would have been a better option. But if Stone Cold ain't available, that's the best one. But everything else made sense. So you know they put so like had Solo in there, like we knew he was gonna come out. Oh, they brought Cena. That. Cena got buried. Like folks forget when Cena and Solo got play, fought each other. He did. Cena got dominated. So 
not mad at the payback, right? So then that gives the entry for The Rock to come. You know what I'm saying? That works. You know, The Rock comes out. Rock's bottom the, scene. The is, Rock is part of the, the it make that made sense. That made perfect sense. And Rock Cena still got some got a thing. So Rock <laughs> Bottom, you out. And then you got the shield music coming. I don't think everybody that was, was probably thinking Dean Ambrose, but I was like, nah, it's probably Seth. I just hope they don't ruin Seth. And then they had Roman Reigns come out here with a Superman punch. That shit was hilarious. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was all it was good. I, I like the way uh Cody quote unquote ended the story. I, I I gotta be honest, man. This is this is probably peak, like this is peak wrestling right now with, with Triple H taking yeah. over. It's yeah. good again. It's really good again. Uh, so if you were an old school wrestling fan, man, jump back in. You know, what I mean, uh, I mean, Vince this is out of here now. This, this is, is a good time. A, it's good stuff. Pretty much a three year story, bro. When you sit on and think about it, he showed up at WrestleMania to face Seth, did that build, won the Rumble, went to Mania, took a fade. Then he, then he got, then he had to win the Rumble again. I mean, it was, it was like phenomenal build. It was like a phenomenal build to get to this point. And then they almost took it away from us. Because they were talking about Rock Reigns and all the other hoopla, and they they and they got the Rock involved. It was perfect, perfect storyline. But now the Rock's gonna be going for a little while. So it, it, I, was, it was good. It was good. Shout out to WWE. They they it's it's getting much better. And uh, I've been watching. I, I gotta be honest. I'm I was invested. Like it's it's good again. I I appreciate what they're doing. So it's all good. It's just good stuff over there. It's gonna be all interesting right, to see what they okay. do with Reigns now. Nah, he about to go chill. He about to go take a break, bro. He need a break, fam. He's been carrying the WWE. His back hurt. He, he Spinal. needs some time off, bro. Spinal. Spinal. Back. <laughs> Broken. Spinal. He, he need a break, bro. Um, but, okay, so real quick, before we get into football, I know you're asking about football. And we got there's some stuff to talk about, but just That's hold true. on a second. Hold on a second. Because we, we got to talk about this whole cold situation. Because uh, they, you know, they is a big... Friends. Yeah, Dave, Dave, old friends. Dave was a big hip hop head, and so the whole Kendrick J. Cole thing. And I know I talked about this on the pregame, but I, I'm just gonna say this. And y'all know if you know me, you know Sha, I'm, I'm a two six representer all day. So anything Cole can it's Cole can do no wrong in my eyes until he apologized. <laughs> bro, that that was like I bro, that was some of the and I get it. Like, I get it. I, I get it. Them dudes are like, they friend, like they no. don't have real beef, bro. So but it's I get it. supposed to be that. It wasn't <laughs> like, dog. It wasn't. I know, but I get it. I get I get all that. I get all that. So I, I understand it's hard to flame your boy. Like, they, I get it. I get it. No, but when you jumped it's... out there, it's 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 almost like you knew you didn't want to do it. You talking about you might delete it later. You, hell, you, you preempted it. You knew you was going to delete it. Like, it's almost like you knew you was going to do that. Anyway, he was like, waiting why would you... the, no dog. He was waiting to see what the pressure was looking like, bro. He was checking. The, he was checking the temp. That's what it was. And he he didn't get the know. temp that he wanted. He he didn't get the temp that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? He tried to take think a little takeover line, and I'm like, bro, you don't that. believe that. You don't I don't, I don't that. think. It, yeah, I I think I think for me for me personally, I I like this this. I like I like everything in it. The only thing he could, only thing that Cole. Where Cole went wrong was analyzing Kendra's catalog. You can't that was a mistake. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't. You can't. It's it's wrong message. Like it's tr to me, it's true. I believe. Like I agree. You know how I feel because I think I know how bro, you I feel about Kendrick, the Ripper I think Kendrick Lamar is one of the most overrated rappers of. Like, oh yeah, you he's about super to. overrated. <laughs> he to me, he's overrated, bro. Like he just that's just me. So I agree with what Cole was saying in the in the everything. He, it was all facts to me. It was just the wrong messenger. Like you, Cole, you can't. You ain't got nothing more critically acclaimed than even touching what can now I'll admit that I, I speak the truth. You know what I mean? It's the truth is what it is. But if you tell if you talk about the disc themselves, I feel like Kendrick gets the nod only because of Metro Boom in the future. The, the song was better. So oh, he gets the nod well, because I, the song I, was better. The point the bar, was the, yo, his bars was not even like that. The point his bars was not even like but that. The point, the point was back and forth. Keep it a buck. Like, no, no. Well, the thing here's my thing. Keep Everybody, it a buck. I th here's my thing. Kendrick wants Drake. That's who Kendrick wants. Like, I think we all can Bingo. agree. Agree there. Agree. Wants Drake, but the hip-hop head in me, I'm going to be clear when I say this, the hip-hop head in me wanted to see Kendrick Cole. That's I what did I too. Wanted. That's what I, I wanted too. to see. So me too. for me, I was like, they cool. They tight. 
they can go back and forth from this. Ain't gonna nothing crazy gonna happen with this. And you know, and I was like, all right, Cole, I see you, bro. You doing what you're doing. I like but the disc. I, I didn't like agree discs, with his bro. album assessment, and I think that was the mistake. And he, he, I agree with it. He can't say it though. No, no, but but it was a mistake because it was for me it was a mistake. So I'm like, bro, let's not do this. And then and and I think when you make the decision to make a diss track, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with the callback because that was just a callback from Takeover. That was a callback. That was a callback when you started doing yeah, math. That was a callback. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and and there's nothing wrong with doing that. But there's a difference when Nas did it, when Jay did it, and a difference from when Cole did it, because Nas actually legitimately had a fall off point during that period when Jay did it. It was a fall off. My man was out here doing Uchi Wally. It was a fall off point, and and for not and for Nas is different than Kendrick because Kendrick tends to take more risks with his work. He still got critical acclaim for it, and you said his prime was damn. So I mean that wasn't too far away from his album albums drops. I now agree with everything. Cole, I, I agree with everything Cole said with the album assessments. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> everything. Yeah, you know I mean, so I I agree. It's just the wrong. Method. He can't say it. And and the thing is, if you, you have and the thing is, if you make the decision to release that song, you gotta stand on that joint, man. You, you gotta stand. I agree. You, you had to stand, stand on it, bro. Man. Like even you if you don't agree with crazy, what bro. you said, you gotta stand on it and let Kendrick take it on the give you to take it on the chin, and then you're supposed to punch back. But I like I don't know what Kendrick does at this point. Does he does I, he just yeah. try to go after Drake again and then see if Drake bites? Does he, you know, I don't know what like because Kendrick from my from Kim's standpoint, Kendrick be like, well, I already won this. Drake ain't said nothing. Cole Cole said something and took it back at his own festival. Yeah, at his own festival, bro. Yeah, I, I just think I get it. They the people around him hyped him up. He probably didn't want to do it. He got he got in the moment, he did it, but you got to stand on him once you put it out there. You had the whole two six on your back. We was right, I was with you. I would hey, I was rocking. The only thing I, like I said, the only thing I didn't the, agree with was him assessing Kendrick's uh catalog. The trap, the trap everything was, else, the trap everything was else fault. is accurate. But the trap was his fault. We said on think about it. He brought up the big three. He already said he was one of the top guys with him. And Kendrick was like, No, do you hell no, no, it was just me. Cole could have just sat it out and just wait and see what was gonna happen. But when Cole made a decision to go to jump in and talk about, well, I called you part of the big three, but two of your albums weren't that good. You know what I'm saying? That that puts you in a in a in a tough, tough spot. But we'll see, man. I, I just, I'm never gonna be I mad at a man. I'm never gonna be mad at a man for, for protecting this piece. Yeah. I'm not gonna be mad at that. But however, comma, yeah. your peace protection comes at a cost. And folks on Twitter are trying to decide who's going to replace him in the big three. I think the, the highest yeah, nominees I, right now are future and Tyler. I, I just think, yeah, I I think that Cole made him. He made a mistake. Is it, it, it whatever you got to stand on it? Like you you put it mm-hmm. out there, and I I like the diss, bro. I feel I think, like truth, Mark, be told, Mark, truth be told, there were some sharper ones in some of the other tracks, but folks ain't really discussing that because you got to look a little harder. Yeah, I think Pie he kind of went at him pretty heavy. Yeah, some folks think hunting rabbits is about him, but I don't think hunting rabbits is about him. I think hunting rabbits is about another rapper personally. But yeah, so like he was going after folks the whole ride. So like to just get rid of that one track is like, bro, why? Because of the media. Yeah, hype. yeah I, I don't know, bro. Like I, I still call my guy. You my guy. Y'all know I'm still rocking two six. It's just like yo, all that hard stuff in the diss about Fedville. Like I when he was anytime he talk about Fedville, I'm like, yo, bro, you so yeah. right. You know, you escaped X, Y, Z. Like, I know I've been there, bro. I lived it. We was there just in Fayetteville around the same time. So I, every time you start talking about that 2-6, I'm like, yo, you right, man. You know how you know how many people get stuck in Fayetteville, bro? It's hard to get out that mud. And when he say when he talks about how, how tough it is to get out and all this stuff and all the 2-6, I'm like, yo, I'm rocking. Now we got we can't even be tough from the 2-6 no more. Now, now it's like, oh, we we gonna just talk no, tough and apologize. Fair, fair now we can't fair even now. Talk. It's supposed to be fair now, bro. Now nah, we we can't now we talk tough and apologize. That's what the 2-6 is known for now. I mean, I, I think it was a big blow to hip hop as a whole, but that's a whole that's a that's a that's a well, whole bro, yeah, that, but see that course. that's that too. I think people wanted blood. People no, wanted but no, blood. no, I don't want blood, I want bars. People want blood. No, I you want not bars. That. You know, no, I that's want not, bars. You're not gonna get that. You're not gonna get that from from dudes that don't have real, real, real problems. That's the problem. They don't have real problems. They ain't got real problems. Like what? Like what? 
if it's about lyric, if it's about the sport of it all, because that's that's always been it's, in it's hard to dis. No, nah, no, nah, bro. The real dis, the real biggest beefs come from when dudes got real problems. Yeah, that's but that, you, that, that you means can say, somebody don't get shot. Like somebody no, don't no, get no, that, even with, but the, you you have a deeper bag to dig, dig in lyrically when you got a real. Oh, I'm a F, F your wife. Oh and yeah, all yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a real no Vaseline. That's what I'm talking. Like, that's what I'm talking up. about. Yeah, sure, got it. That's what Understand I'm talking about. That. Understand the bag that. is deeper, bro. But, but if but I think a, I think the the bulk of the bases of all the fan bases, they know them cast is cool. They well, particularly Cole and Kendrick. I don't yeah. Kendrick and Drake yeah. is a different animal in yeah, itself. That's different. That's different. that's that's, that's spotty. But Kendrick and Cole, they know they tight. It's just we just want to see them go at it back and forth. But what? How you really go at? Like you can't really. Like even even with the, the Coles this, you like don't make me. Like I want to go, but don't make. Like you can't really. And but if you really is, like each other, I, you're not gonna expose expose any dark deep dark. You're not gonna do it. So you I, can't. You, it's not real beef, felt, bro. So you're not gonna. I, get I felt that. like, I felt like we were past warning shots too, bro. Like I think seven minute drill need to be more than a warning shot. I think seven minute no, drill need to be a little I more. I thought it was intense. perfect. I thought it was perfect. He should have stood on it. Let let Kendrick respond, and then it could have been a war from there. I liked it because they, ain't, I mean, they taking like little shots, but though, bro, this was di- like this was a direct, direct, because no question, been, no, no putting, need to look into it. It was direct, bro. But they've been going at each other for years, man. Yeah, but that's all. That's going at each other is one thing. Like when you can, and that's say, all oh, I well, wanted. Like I just wanted. All them, all them, all right, no, no, bro. All them dudes could say is, "Yo, I wasn't talking about you." That's not what we talk. Well, this Kendrick was a gonna, direct. Let me be clear, Kendrick ain't gonna say that. <laughs> this, was a, this was a direct shot from Cole, and he should have stood. He should have stood in it. But uh, and again, if you if you go back to what Kendrick did in in the Joan in the future track, that his his bars were mid. Like he he got, bro, he his, got bars, his bars for his bars for, were for Drake mid. or not. But yeah, his bars were mid, bro. Like listen, he got on a Metro Boomin track. That song is fire. The song is flames. That track is what took it over the top. Be clear, bar for bar, J. Cole can hang with Kendrick. Period. From both from a bar perspective, unfortunately, K- K- Kendrick is a better art. Like from a putting the music, putting the songs, putting the songs together, Kendrick has done better, a better job at that. We know. all we, we recognize that. Bar for bar, Cole can hang, bro. I don't know, man. I'm, I don't yo, know. If it, you, I don't know. I don't know if Cole really it really sat with Cole's spirit when he made the decision to pull it down. But let's do these super chats real fast. Yeah, we'll move um, on y'all. Shout out to Fa- shout out to Fayetteville, man. We still we still hanging. Oh yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Acast for the super chat. Shout out, did you see Dave's mock drafts or so? How did he do? <clears throat> I did. I did. Well, I didn't see the setup. Like I saw the end result. I need to see what happened. So I didn't. I didn't go back and watch to see how ha- how I'll, it happened. How I'll give you. I'll down. give you a quick summary, man. Nine was not while he was winning in the first round. Nine. But I believe I believe that's gonna happen in real life. Yeah, it's starting to look like that based on the trades that we saw too. Um, but yeah, now obviously we win the first in the first round. So folks were furious that I took Troy Franklin. Fury, yes, I'll tell you. They weren't as mad because I was able to get Darius Robinson with the other pick, but all right, yeah, shout hey, out. I, I just real quick, real quick before you say that, I just think if you if nine receivers legit go, that's gonna leave you a bomb other player in a position they need, like cornerback. As rusher, you take. I was that. afraid of the injuries with Kool Aid, so that's why I didn't go with Kool Aid. Hey, Sometimes you, uh, yeah, I, I don't know who was there again. I don't know. Yeah, Kool Aid was there, so some folks wanted me to take Kool Aid, and some folks wanted me to take Darius Robinson at thirty three, and I, I went for the wide receiver, but then I ended up taking Darius Robinson at thirty nine, so it worked out. Um, shout out to Wade Evans for the super chat. I think Ken, Cole and Kendrick are mature enough to know it's sport, but everyone doesn't view it that way. In today's world, you got weirdos out there that think that it's their beef and we need to protect them both at all costs. I mean, Bingo. I thought it was gonna be sport, man. I really do. I thought they I thought them two were mature enough to do it in sport. Now I can't say the same for Kendrick and Drake. I think Drake still got PTSD with what happened with, with Pusher. Because <clears throat> you don't know what's coming, you don't know what's coming around that corner. And Noli, shout out for the two, two appreciate the super chat, man. Hit him up as the greatest ever. Not for me, man. I got no Vaseline ahead of it. But that's real beef. That's what I'm saying. That was real, real beef, beef, though. Bro. But even you, but you hit him up wasn't hit him beef, up bro. wasn't as real as beef as folks think it was. Because even Tupac, before he got before he was murdered, said this is about selling records. 
And so that's why like, part of the reason why Big didn't respond back because he wanted to stop that type of noise. But then we got to a bigger concern because then you got gangs involved, and that's how we got people getting killed. All right, let's move on from the rap because people get yeah. tired. Of, let's let's talk. No, let's bro. talk about football. Is that is that it? That's it. Let's talk about right. football. We like we like right. a couple weeks from the draft and like months before we actually get to see a game. So, all right. So, um, stay on the prowl. Y'all know what time it is. I don't know why my screen is white. Uh, but uh, hold on. Oh, because it's supposed to be white. <laughs> nah, bro. That's weird. There we go. I'm about to say, bro. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. There we go. All right. So OTA started, Dave. Uh, you know, you got Dave Canellis back in the saddle uh, with the Carolina Panthers for the first time. You got Bryce Young out there. You got a lot. Shout out to Tariq Cohen right there uh, in the back, in the back corner. Uh, Aggie Pry all day. Y'all know what time it is. Um, but Dave, OTAs, a lot of guys are there, bro. I just I saw a lot of people. Looks like the the uh, participation is there. What it? What? How do you feel in going into OTAs, bro? What What you thinking about? I think my guy. I think they're they're focused on on the task at hand. They saw what happens. A lot of those guys saw what happened last season. Um, ultimately, I think they're ready to rock with regards to that. Um, curious to see. Who gets the? We're we'll probably gonna, we're talking about the visits today. So, but yeah, I, I just think OTAs is just the first step, man. And it's good to see that we had good participation. Do we get an idea of how much participation we got? <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't see an official number, uh, but I did see a lot of the big names there. If you look through the pictures and and look through the tea leaves, you and you saw all your guys there: Miles Sanders, Chuba, uh, Bryce. You said the big guys. Uh, the first one you name is Miles Sanders, but Curry. I on. mean, I was just that's just the first uh, okay. name that popped in my head. Um. You know, uh, I saw I saw a uh, Clowney, I believe, was there. Um, um, JC, like everybody, Derek Brown. So everybody's there, bro. Like everybody was in attendance, and I I I like the vibe. You you read what Canellis is saying. He greeted everybody individually, mano y mano. So everything is being done the right way. Um, I'm, I don't know. I may pop up out there. I don't know if I got time. I may pop out by the fence, see what's good. Tap in with with the Panthers to see what's good. Um, but Hunt is out there. You see Big Rob Hunt. Right there, but yeah, man, I, I like it. I, I like it. I got a good feeling. Uh, and again, it, it's tough because you you at this time of the year, you don't have nothing to go off of, and all everybody's ready for the season to start up, ready for the draft. Everybody's getting excited, and I'm again cautiously cautiously optimistic uh, with how things go for the season. But look, man, I'm glad Bryce is there leading the team. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is a good picture, dope picture. See Bryce in there. He looked like he ain't put on too much weight. Uh, I, I ain't seen him, you know. Got put on, got to put on some more, uh, some more LBs. I mean, maybe uh, he don't need, maybe he don't need to, bro. Maybe, maybe he's not. But, that this, this is just what he gonna roll with. Yeah, maybe not. But you would think, you know, at, at just as a, uh, uh, you know, you're a year older, you know, you start to your body matures, you start to put on more weight. That's just what happens. It's a natural progression. But I don't know. I don't know. Just that's just me thinking. But um, you know, it is what it is. It it it, it is what it is. That doesn't take away from anything. Uh, so I hope that uh. You know that again. I I hope for the best for the season, man. We got it, the the frustration is at an all time high. If things get off to a rocky start, so we'll see, we'll see. Dave, any more thoughts on OTAs? Any 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 other tea leaves out there uh, from the Panthers I, that you saw? I haven't heard too too much about it. I mean, you know, the other than you know, I'm happy. There's I think there's a big reason why Derek Brown made his appearance, and we'll probably get into that. But you know, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. That'll be so the first thing we talk about. Yeah, so you know we can go in a segue to that, but now nah, this is good to see. It, get, it looks like I saw uh, Carlos say the stars were there, so that's a good sign. That's yeah, and again, keep to... keep this in mind. This is these are voluntary workouts, right? Yeah, voluntary. These are not th these are not mandatory. So the guys that are showing up tells me that they're starting to buy in a little bit with what's going on uh, with Canellis, and I'm I'm sure the expectation uh, was that everybody you know show up, and uh, it looks like everybody did just that. You know what I mean? So. I like it. I like the energy, man. Good. This is good stuff. I feel good about it. We got, a, right. we, got we got a quick super chat. I want to yep. go ahead and get through. Who's the sleeper wide receiver that no one's talking about? I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna be honest. People are already talking about it, but I think the sleeper on this, uh, and I know you said that nobody's talking about, but I would say if you if you've been in this show, we've been talking about him, but from a public perception, I would say Marset. I would say Marset is probably gonna be. Uh, the sleeper wide receiver of that group. And again, I know a lot of the people in the chat, like, oh, he's not a sleeper. Because we started talking about him towards the end of last season. 
and he was starting to clock in and put in some work. And I just think going into the next season, I think he's a guy to need to keep an eye on outside of the uh, special team stuff that he does. So I think it's going to be really good. Yeah, ISM. Really good. I thought we were talking about the draft, but yeah, ISM. I agree there. But yeah, all right, let's keep, let's keep it moving. Uh, shout out to the Patreon members, patreon.com forward slash Panther Nation PC. If you want to support the channel, man, shout out to our MVPs. Shout out to all of our uh, our franchise folks and shout out to um, the free agents. Uh, appreciate y'all's uh, contribution to the channel again. Wouldn't be what it is without you guys. So we appreciate y'all's support. And if you're not a Patreon member, consider signing up. Patreon.com forward slash Panther Nation PC. All right, Dave, on the dog. Underdog Fantasy. So make sure you go to underdogfantasy.com and sign up and use the code PNP when you do sign up. Um, we're, right now, they're still doing best fall drafts. NFL, NFL draft is approaching. So you can go in and do the best ball draft right now without knowing who the team, what players are going on the team. You can probably leverage some advance with regards to that. Um, I, I made almost over to, close to over $2,000 in the best ball league during the Super Bowl. So you can do things like that too. So go to underdogfantasy.com. And if you're not into football right now, they do NBA, they do hockey, they do baseball, they do pretty much every sport that's out there. So go to underdogfantasy.com and use the promo code PMP when you do. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy, man. Good friends of the show. All right, Dave, let's talk about this contract extension. Oh, Obviously, it happened oh, yeah. when I was, yeah, it happened when I was on vacation. So I have not had a chance to break it down. The good news is that the, the actual breakdown, the contract breakdown was released today. So we do have something that y'all have not already talked about. And this is, will be new. Uh, to everyone, if you haven't been watching the Twitters and all that good stuff or X's of the world. Uh, so we'll talk about the breakdown. We'll talk about the cap impact um, because there, there's some big impacts. We'll, let's let's talk about it. So D- Dave, uh, Darren Brown extended a four-year, $96 million deal, which is extended, which, which includes his uh, – his, um, his, uh, Fifth-year option. Yes, his fifth-year option. Year. Thank you. Uh, $63 million of that is guaranteed. Uh, again, I view him as a franchise interior defensive lineman, six foot five, three hundred twenty pounds. Just the kind of same profile we do for every free agent or sign that we've done. So if you're, you know, been watching the show, this doesn't look uh, any different for you. But if you're new to the show, this is kind of what we do for everybody that we sign. All right. So uh, as you can see, I just like to I like to point this out: the twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty three progression, because there's somebody uh, uh, somebody on this show uh, that did a nice video around. 2021 when people were out here panicking and calling Derek Brown <laughs> and out here calling Derek Brown a bust. Uh and I almost predicted this to a T. Like I, I don't yeah. usually my predictions ain't always this good, Dave. I'm good, but I ain't this damn good. And I it's hard to be as good as me, but you know, I understand. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair I enough. understand. But the thing is, you knocked this one out the park. Like yeah, this I, one, I was I was in the don't panic team too. But the breakdown that you did was outstanding, and it pretty much came to fruition. Yeah, it's spot on. I Go back and find the Derrick Brown video. I put it out right after the 2021 season or during the 2021 season, and people were freaking out. Um, and so I really – yeah. And if I, like, what I did, Cut him. Yeah, what I did in that video was I compared the performances of all of the uh, other you know guys that were drafted in the top ten and I just looked at their progression. It's very simple. It's not this like not like rocket science. I try to I try my best to have educated, uh, you know, um, analysis and and not just go out there and just say stuff. Sometimes I do. I'm guilty of that. But in this instance, all I did was use history. Right? You look at them down to Kasu and some of these other guys. They had some of the same progression. It wasn't just come out the out the woodwork swinging. It might not have been Sue. It was some other guys. Um. So, um. But yeah, uh, man. Was, um, it, McCoy. McCoy was one of them. Yeah, it was a couple. It was a couple of guys. A couple, couple of guys. A couple of elite. D- yeah, elite level guys. And I, I, what I, what I, think, I think what I pointed to was the fact that the, the position that he plays in particular, his body has to develop. You got to. You got some grown man strength in there. You know, some some guys it takes a little time for that transition to occur. You know what I mean? So I think I think Derrick Brown was slowly progressing year over year, and uh, and he he just kind of came into his own. And I think that you know it culminated in that season last year. Now. Now, if you want to be devil's advocate, you want to pay the opposite of that. You could say, okay, now he got his bag. Is he going to fall off? Because that happens too. That does happen. Let's be clear. It happens. Dudes get their bags and they, and they go on vacation. But you know I will mean? say this, man. There's some folks who just has that jump that last year just so they can get the bag. But he showed progression the whole way during the Matt Rule era. Yeah. 
you know, he he showed some progression even with that, and then he just what then it then it cleared, then it cleared once. Scheme cleared changes, after. all that. He still he still was he was still was nice. Yeah, scheme changes everything, bro. Everything. He's he's been great. You know what I mean? So, kudos to uh um Dan Morgan and company getting this di- this done. Shout out to Brand Tillis again. Tillis uh has experience with this. He just went through this with Chris Jones. And again, Derrick Brown didn't set the market, right? He didn't have the highest. He's not the highest paid into your defensive lineman. Yeah, exactly, uh, which is about where he should be paid. I think this is a good, well-structured, uh, well-deserved, solid deal for Derrick Brown. I think it's a what, good deal. You know what the crazy thing is? In about a year, this is going to look cheap. Exactly. It sure oh, is. Cheap. It sure is. Because it I look sure at, like somebody on Twitter posted like the four folks that are making more than him. And by the way, just to be clear, Chris Jones is making a killing, bruh. A killing. I mean, he clears over 30 a mil a year. So this is gonna be cheap. Like he's like Derek Brown on average is making 24 mil a year. Only six and it's 63 mil guaranteed. So it's so it's not even, you know, it ain't fully guaranteed, but there's some defensive tackles ahead of him that are making a killing. We got a good deal on him. And I just remember. Yeah, Jones gets sacks, but it's it's very fortunate that they they still have they they have Mahomes. But see, but what you will say, what you you say, and Jones does get sacks, but we could go back to the same argument with Burns, right? You could apply that same that same uh um theory to Burns and why we didn't want to offer him as much as he got. Yeah, you know I mean, so that same thing can apply. You know what I mean? So. Um, they probably put a. Uh, I think this is a good, reasonable deal for Derrick Brown. I think it at both sides, which is why it got done. Both sides can agree. I think it's logical and it just makes sense. You know what I mean? So that's just my opinion. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's keep it moving. I do want to go through quickly through the contract breakdown. Twenty twenty four. Uh, prior to this deal. Prior to this deal, um, you know, uh, Derrick Brown's cap hit was eleven million. He was eleven million guaranteed. For his fifth year option. Now, what we did with that was we uh, took that and reduced it down to six point five million. You see that that uh, that's the signing bonus. He got like a twenty five million dollars signing bonus, and that is uh, structured or spread out over um, over the three five years. The deals, yeah. So with that, five we we dropped his base salary down to the vet minimum, which is one point two five one point one two five million plus the signing bonus plus a workout bonus. That's how you get the six. Point six million dollars. Okay, so that's his his cap hit, which gives us flexibility. In a second, we'll talk about what our cap hit is for twenty twenty four and beyond. Because as you can see, next year that that number jumps to nineteen point five million. The cap jumps to nineteen point five million, and so on. Twenty four million, twenty eight million, twenty nine million. And like Dave said, like Dave said, that nineteen point five million. That cap hit is going to look like a – and then even further in 2026, that cap hit is going to look – those. it's big now, pause, but it's going to look very small later. Like that, it's going to – the caps are going to, is going to increase. So this this deal is a, it's a W for everybody. I like the way this is structured. And you know what the crazy thing is? Like he doesn't get any guaranteed money out of 2025. There's no, guarantee, there's no guarantee money after the 2025 season. So Oops. if I don't see us releasing him that early – but if we needed to, after twenty twenty five, you could. Yeah, which is which is why the cap, the salary cap, has dropped so much after. Um, and then, again, this is when you get into the nerds and the weeds of it. Um, you you can see uh, the difference between the contract structures of mm-hmm. a Scott Fitterer and a Brand Tillis, like it, it's or Samir Suleiman, technically, to a Brand Tillis. It it looks completely different. Like we're not backloading, we're not adding voided years. This is just a well structured deal, and if we continue to do these type of deals, bro, it I mean it's it's crazy. It's it's gonna be solid. It's gonna be solid. It's this this is good stuff. I really like the way this deal is structured, for sure. All right, so with that, now we can get into the the future contracts, right? The future contract breakdowns, okay? Or future cap breakdowns, excuse me. Uh, so twenty twenty four, you can see now we are set. And this is the most accurate. The most recent number includes all the moves, including Derrick Brown. We're sitting at eight. Uh, eight million. So that's just probably enough to sign the draft picks. Um, we could probably free up a little bit more here and there. Um, I don't see us doing too too much. 
Uh, but if, if we do need some flexibility, there's money out there, i.e. Uh, extending molten or restructuring molten. Uh, there's a couple ways to free up some money. So not no concern that we only have $8 million, right? Remember, uh, if you're uh, if you're trying to sign a, a draft class, typically it's, it's $10 million to sign a full draft class. We don't have a first-round pick. So that number is going to be drastically reduced by that, which probably tells you we're probably not going to trade up. Um, just if you read between the lines. And that's just a, I don't know, I kind of probably went too far there. But, um, you know, 8.8, .8, well, 8 million is what we have in cash space right now. Going on to 2025. Now, I try to tell you guys, hey, don't fall in love with that $125 million number that we had because it's going to disappear pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what happened. Now we are down to 52 million. But the good news is, who do we have to sign? I mean, you got, you got a guys like, uh, you know, you got a JC Horn coming up. Um, you got you got a couple of guys that you need to that you're gonna have to sign. But for the most part, the heavy hitters are, are signed. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're we're good. We're we're good to go here, um, and I, we're in good shape. We're yeah, it'd be shape. interesting because they haven't. I don't. They haven't. They haven't exercised JC's fifteen fifth year option yet. But they got time. Not they yet. Probably they probably won't do that after the draft. They, they probably yeah, won't they make got, that after the draft. So yeah, they got some time with that. They got some time with that. Um. Yes, this is a great point. Shout out to Hollywood Gaming. This means that Gilmore is not coming. Or if we do a restructure or let some folks go, we might not be done. Oh, that's what I was say. Or Gilmore could sign after the draft. Once the draft falls out, we could probably see how things go. It's not set in stone. Like the, but I would say as of right now, I would say, yeah, well, he's probably not going to sign. It's probably going to happen after the draft if it happens. Um, you know, probably sign up OTAs, training camp, somewhere around then. He's, he's an older guy, too, so um, it depends what his asking price is. There's a lot of factors into that, but I would say, yeah, probably right now he's not he's not signing with us. Um, but, uh, so, if you want again, to go home, maybe you'll have a hometown discount, but I doubt that. We just need see. to go, like, I think, we just like you said, after the draft is probably, if it's going to happen, that's probably when it's going to happen. Yep, we'll see that. that The price is going to do nothing but go down after the draft. People are going to check, check their boxes. The, if if you're doing it right, right, you're going into the draft without any major holes, right? Pause. I mean, so you're 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 filling all of your major positions, and then you go into the draft, and then you check all your boxes, right? So after the draft, theoretically, theoretically, you won't have any holes on your roster. So then that's when you go in, and the price is way down now. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, again, don't fall in love with 170 million in 2026. 244 million 22 don't fall in love with those numbers it it'll it'll come down that those numbers will as guys get extended contracts uh you know are are uh and, you know given out though that number will come down so never fall in love with the future number kind of get wait until things go wait until the start of the season because once the start the season starts then you'll start to see where we're going to line up in 2025 uh because there won't be too many moves made from that point yeah, all right, we just just gotta keep extending, folks. Yeah, it'll be interesting because <laughs> everybody keeps everybody keeps like I would like them to try to resign Deontay Johnson. That would be great. Um, we ain't got to make a decision yet, but it'd be nice to to resign him. Uh, JC Horn, man. Yeah, I'm looking at the chat. It all depends whether or not he can stay healthy, man. I mean, that's gonna yeah. be a factor for him. I'm willing to put up good money that he stays healthy his entire contract year. I'm I'm willing to put that up. You're nuts. I wouldn't put anybody want to bet me. I'm not anybody want to bet me. I'm not doing that. Come on, Dave. I ain't gonna be me. I ain't look, man. Somebody put the money up. I guarantee JC Horn stays healthy this season. I mean, it should be it should be easy money for folks. Old prediction. It should be easy money. Somebody put the money up. I'm just not gonna do it because my luck is terrible. It's clear I gotta be skillful to win things. Very clear. Put the money up. All right, so that's the future cap. Uh, any questions here? Uh, I think, Jordan again, Owen I think we're, we're good. He'll put, he'll put a stack on it, man. Or he'll put a casino, at least. <laughs> that's not a stack, Dave. That's that's not a stack. I'm tr I'm trash. Stacks like, gee, what's a, what's a hundred? It's a Ceno. What do they call hundreds? Not, <laughs> Ceno. Yeah, that's old school. Dave, that is old, old school. Bro. That is bro, old, you, old school. Dave, I haven't heard Ceno in forever, bro. Yeah, a, you are yeah. old. You just aged yourself bad, bro. Uh, look, man, my gray hair has already done that. I mean, it is what it is with regards to that. Shout out to ACAST with uh -oh. Super Chat. Shaw still got a train. 
just changed the name from CJ to Uh-oh, Jake? Oh, nah, <laughs> it, it, it ain't about because that, that was more about the, the CJ Henderson train was more about talent, um, than it was anything dog, else. Um, <laughs> dog, it's called a bust. A I bust. mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, I can't and we're argue. We're not talking it. Hall of Fame, I can't argue it. I can't argue and it, we bro. Ain't, and we ain't talking Hall of Fame. Somebody just did your hundred right there, man. Since I don't know what the proper language is, since y'all call me old and shit. A C note, they put the C note up. Put the C note up. A hundo. All right. All right. Uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, we're gonna talk about these 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 visits because it's very important. I want I want to give credit. Ooh, look at the wide receivers. <laughs> I want to get. I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, because this this whole segment was inspired by Panthers analysts on Twitter. Shout out to my guy Panthers analyst on Twitter. Um, he created a list, uh, a, tr- a tracker of all the top thirty visits and then whatnot. Um, and uh, he put it out on Twitter and updated it today, and uh, or yesterday. And I was like, man, let me let me run some content on that because I think it's like I, when I start to see stuff like that, I, I try to look at the trends, and because he broke it down by. Um, by by round, right? Second round, third round, and day day three picks. You know what I mean, so that's how he broke it down. I was like, okay, let's see what the Panthers are doing here. Where are they trying to draft? Where are they targeting certain positions? Right? That's that's where my brain went. And so I got that content. I got that content here. You know, content king, bro. Let's let's make that happen. So before we get into that, now we haven't used all of our top thirty visits, right? These are all visits. These these combined. All of the visits we have, I don't have them broken down by top 30. I just have all visits, okay? Every every single visit that we've had. That includes um you this know, is 31 uh, total, but all yeah, these this, is, no, this is all visits. Yeah, all I'm talking about local visits, pro day visits, I'm talking about private visits. There's only been like 10 or 11 private visits, right? That count toward the 30 visits. Yeah, but we've had other visits like local visits, pro pro day visits, and whatnot. And uh, so that's what we're, we're just talking about all of them right now. We're not we're not singling out any any different type of visit. This is all touch points, okay? Because I think it, it means something. The fact that we're talking to certain guys to me that means something. And typically, um, as shout out to my guy Panthers analyst says historically in the tweet that he put out, he says historically the majority of Panthers draft picks have had private, local, and or notable pro day visits. Uh, Carolina does have a new GM and new front office. Um, so you got to kind of take that with a bit of a grain of salt, but I thought he, he made a great point that when we draft guys, they are typically have had some sort of touch point with the Carolina Panthers at, at some point. And I know that Dan Morgan is new, but he, he's been in the building though. Yeah. You know I mean, so <clears throat> some things may, uh, may still apply. You know what I mean? So, um, so, all right. So this was the list of the visits. This is by position. Uh, wide receiver, 11 wide receivers, two cornerbacks, one quarterback, which is Bo Nix, uh, two de- interior defensive linemen, uh, four linebackers, two edge rushers, four running backs, three tight ends, and two offensive line pro- prospects. That means uh, uh, tackles and guards. Okay, That says a All lot right. about how they feel about their offensive line, too, guys. That says a lot. To me, that says a lot, bro. No, nah, because well, well, you got to get all the data before you say that. That because get get all the data before you because I said that too. I was like, well, how did? They, but get, let's let's look at the rest of the data before we jump down that uh down that path. All right, so let's 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 roll with this, okay? All right, uh, so here are our cornerbacks. So you got Nate Wiggins, and you got another cornerback that's to rank two hundred seventy fourth, which is way that's way down, way that's, late, might, way I, way late. That's not even possible. So, <clears throat> right, basically. So these are the two cornerbacks we looked at. Um, any thoughts on cornerback? Because I mean, Nate Wiggins is probably if he slides into the second, I mean, like that's probably unlikely. Uh, but it 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 appears to me that they're not gonna be drafting any quarterbacks, uh cornerbacks, excuse me. Um, uh, it unless Nate Wiggins happens to fall. That's how it, it also works. says to me that when you guys attack me for not taking Kool-Aid. I was thinking just as well as the Panthers were, but we got, but it's possible they could probably still bring him in for a visit. But and yeah. I, yeah, I mean, if 
I'm looking at the chat. They're saying Nate ain't gonna slide. I'm rolling. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Either. Like Richardson's got to probably try to slide as a as an undrafted free agent. Yeah. So which which me that tells me that I don't think cornerback is, is, is a one. position that we're going. Just and again, this is all, bro. This is all content, right? I'm just connecting dots. This is based on visits, and they're not the visits are not done yet either. They're not done. No. The visits will still. So we may talk to some more cornerbacks, but based on the data as it stands right now. We're not drafting. I don't, I don't know. Bro. I don't think we're gonna draft know. one. No, because remember, we our picks are precious. We got two second round picks. We're not gonna use a second round pick on one. We're probably gonna use a third round pick on one. If we use it, we're gonna do it one of our last picks. So nah, I don't think we'll draft one. I know folks say it's a, a need, but if the Panthers don't think it's a need, that also means maybe the door is still open. They maybe they might be banking on trying to get Gilmore. So we'll see. I know the cap situation doesn't say it, but you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Never know. Um, that's the way TJ things look. Tampa's at a right dog, now. but TJ Tampa wasn't invited. There's no visit yet for TJ Tampa, and we just said that typically, private visits are the ones who get drafted. So, now this is accurate too. That's this cool. is one thousand percent accurate. Keep in mind that not all visits are public. They will keep some private. As chess. this is very shot to my man Carlo. This is that's absolutely true. correct. That's true. I'm just going off based off of what is public. All right. That's just again, he's absolutely right though. One one thousand percent correct. But but at the same time, <laughs> and this is just me being devil's advocate here. I agree that yeah, this is just public. But then again, like dog, do you really want to be out here saying, Oh, yeah, we 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 gonna have a visit with eleven wide receivers? You really want to draft one? Like you're kind of saying you kind of giving that light, like, yeah, I think I'm gonna draft this this position for sure. So we'll see. What's next up? We ain't got right. this one. I don't think. Next up, edge now, rusher. This, this is fascinating. Cause second I round, would've... babe. Huh? Second round. These both of these guys are second round. Based on these, these are consistent rankings, by the way. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Both both of these are second rankings. rounders, but at the same time. Our second round picks are pretty high, so this could be like if we decide to trade down, maybe we go after one of these guys type of situation. Or maybe we just value them higher. Maybe our board has them rank higher. We don't know. That's possible. We don't know. Neelan and uh, Isaac. And again, again, these are based uh, – these are consensus rankings, the, the 61 to 70. That just means they fall in the range of a second round pick. That doesn't mean that, – that doesn't mean – Well, 70 would be second. 70 would, 70 would be third, right? So, yes, yeah, excuse me. You're right. My my apologies. My apologies. Yes, you're correct. You are correct. And I have early data for that too. You're correct. Oh, Neilan could potentially be a pick in the third round for us. Potentially. So we'll see. We will see. We will see. All right, but that's edge rushers. Edge rushers. All right. Um, linebackers. Jacob Robbins. I, I know now. Jacob Robbins was a local visit. You know. Yep. Aggie Pride. I know he played for the final year, but when he declared, he put he put that in he put that in a lock on that on that declare graphic too. So Aggie Pry. shout out to shout out to Jacob Roberts, man. Aggie Pry all day. Peyton um, Wilson. Yeah, Peyton Wilson. Um uh let's see, just make sure I ain't missing nobody. We're overdue getting another we're overdue having a loop, by the way. I just want to remind you guys, like we haven't had a linebacker. Like normally, like the Panthers historically has had great linebackers, particularly playing in the middle. I know you would lose your mind if we draft Peyton Wilson in a second, but wouldn't surprise me. I'll leave it at that. Hey, you the way some of these teams be talking, you be Peyton Wilson might get taken in the first, bro. I know. I've, I've been seeing that. I've been seeing, but I'm just saying, wouldn't be surprised if the decision was made to take him in the second for us. I ain't ready to concede there yet, but I think we don't talk about the need of the linebacker position enough. Um, <clears throat> well. I don't man, I don't know, Dave. Uh it's it's apparent it's apparent that um and, and, and I hope this I hope it's compass and keekly because that's not fair to him. <laughs> that's just not fair to him. Yeah, but so when you shot to Carlo, just send me a text. Um yeah, but it, it depends. It, it's apparent uh that that we are because we're looking at guys, right? We're looking at multiple linebackers and those are second round other than jacob roberts who is who is uh that's you know, aggie pride yeah, that's you know what i mean so period. yeah yeah so i mean it's apparent that we're high we're high on the linebackers you know what i mean so 
and it looks like we're gonna probably take one most likely. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't know. They they view it as a need. It's apparent. Um, so I can't I can't argue with that. Uh, so it is what it is, I guess. Okay. I'm trying to look at the pull at the depth chart. My bad. Um, <clears throat> shout out to our lads, by the way. Somebody um, said, "Yo, Lonely said they're extremely poor man's loot." Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not rolling yet. With, I'm not rolling with the the loot comparisons, man. Yeah, and it, it really depends on what you're looking at from a linebacker's perspective as well. Because we're talking interior linebackers. Are we talking about edge rushers? It it just it it really depends. Um, because you got Jewel, you signed Jewel. I thought Jewel was a good addition. You know, Shaq Thompson's still there. You know, maybe a little concerned about his health. Um, and is he gonna be able to hold up? So I, I guess, yeah, I, I see it. I see the need. I see the need. And there's a need there. I don't think it's discussed enough, right? Because I think everybody's been on the oh, we gotta get a wide receiver. But I, I it's a need, man. It's a need. It's a need. It's, it's, it's a need. not discussed enough, it, especially if you're not sold on Shaq. You know, being able to hold up. Um, but even you still, know. like you, you know, we we've normally been the team to have a couple good linebackers. Yeah. So like I, I just, I just, and particularly in the middle. So I'm just, yeah, we kind of gotta, <clears throat> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. I'm not. And by the way, Nola, let me be clear. I think we're gonna take a wide receiver. In, the, in one of those picks in the second round, I'm there. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, mm-hmm. I don't. I'm. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent. I think it depends on the way the board falls. Um, I. I, I really you think, think it if depends. nine goes, you think there's a possibility we might not take one. If nine, if nine go, then I think we might get antsy and take one. But if they well, start to fall, like if they start to fall, and some guys are, like I think, I think there is a scenario where there, if there's one guy there and they are all in on them, they will take. Them. Yes, right. I agree. I, I I firmly believe that. I believe that. If but it, I don't if know. Certain guy I, falls, they will I, take him. I don't know if they're gonna do like I did in the mock draft and just take the next guy because of the amount of wide receivers. Right. I, I think it depend. It depends. Yeah. I think it depends on how things fall. Yeah. You know I mean. So we'll see. We'll see. Shout out to the linebackers. We, we got. We got some time. Yo, if for eleven wide receivers go in the first round, that is wild, bro. Anything can happen, fam. Your boy Braden Fisk. Shout out to Brave Fist. We, look like we ain't really we ain't really doing too much with interior uh, defensive linemen, um, or defensive end slash defensive linemen, depending on what scheme you're talking about. We ain't really doing too much here. I think we're set. I think we got a lot of yeah. good talent there. Um, you know, when you talk about a uh, Tuttle, you got uh, you know, Ashawn Robinson, Derek Brown, um, uh, Raquan Williams, um, Nick Thurman, LeBron Ray. I I think we're I think we're pretty good here. I don't think they're really uh, too antsy about signing. And, you know, Derek, uh, come on, man. I think I think we're straight. I think we're straight here. Yeah, we're straight here. We ain't really got to have this discussion. We might pick Jordan Milton. Like, anybody that's undrafted, I could see Jordan getting picked up as a as a free agent and have to fight for his job, fight to try to get a spot on the roster. But other than that, yeah. Um. So, I, running backs, this was interesting. Four Very of interesting. Them. Four of them. <laughs> Very than, interesting. Guys, more than linebacker, more than defensive line, more than cornerback, running which back. T- which forward. tells me, which tells me we're probably gonna take one. Uh it's just a matter of where and when, uh, yeah. And when it's very interesting. And you, you gotta think about it from a ch- it's a chess move. Uh think about it. You know, you got you got Chuba, and again, I stand by, I'm gonna stand by it. That running back is the most replaceable position in the league. So what they're gonna do is, a they're gonna protect themselves. Chuba is up out of is is going to on a playing on contract year. He's gonna be ball. He's gonna ball out his mind. Don't don't let let me be clear. I do think he's gonna play very very well, which is gonna put him in a, a space where he's probably gonna demand some money. Are they gonna want to pay him? I highly doubt it. You just look at the way the Chiefs handled their running back situation. They ain't, they ain't paying nobody. Ain't pay nobody. Yeah, you know I mean, so they're gonna continue to to cycle guys in here, and I believe that this is part of that. You know, what I mean, I think this is just a all right. We're gonna draft. We're gonna, we're gonna draft. We're gonna draft one. Yeah, yep. We're gonna draft one just to just in case there's some issues with Chuba, his contract extension. But we're not gonna just draft. We're not gonna get one late. We we're gonna get a, a talented one here, so we really won't feel it. So that's what I think the Carolina Panthers are doing right now, and you still got. You know Miles Sanders too, uh, who we we need to get off of that contract. 
Uh, but you know, that's just where it is for, for right now. But yeah. I like this group. I like Brooks. I like uh uh my man uh Aldrich. I like I, this is a good group of running backs. Good group of running backs. You know what I mean? So um, but yeah. All right. So any any other thoughts here, Dave? No, I'm good here. Interesting set of running backs. I will say that. I don't see us taking one in the second. Third would be a tough watch, tough reach too for me. But fourth, I yeah, I think it depends. If if they trade back to get some more picks or something like that, then yeah, I, I was you know, the way, it, But so far, the way this the so far just based on the position we've seen right now, this screens we're going to trade one of those picks. Let's go back. That's my opinion, based on like the consensus rankings. I know their board can be different than everybody else, but what I'm seeing right now tells me that if they have an opportunity to trade that 33rd pick going into the second day, they're going to. Like if somebody falls and they if somebody falls for another franchise and they look at their board and be like, "What well, one of our guys will be there at 39, I think they will I think they will pony up that 33rd pick. And yeah, and I think, so too. I, think I think if it, I think if it's a, especially if it's like Bo Nix or some somebody right there, mm-hmm. uh, and they, they want a quarterback, quarterback thirsty, I definitely see the Carolina Panthers waiting, waiting by the phone. All right, come get this pick because we got another one in the next, you know, uh, six, picks. six picks. Yeah, you know I mean, so we straight like it's it's no big deal. Like, come get this pick. Let's give us another third. Give us another second. Let's give us a future something. Like, let's cook. I they they should absolutely be listening by the phone. Unless, or unless, excuse me, um, that there's a guy that they really, really want. Like, if a guy like, I, I'll bring up an example later. I'll bring up an example, a hypothetical later when we get when we get to the wide receivers. But if there's a, a wide receiver that falls, bro, and they really and he's supposed to go in the he's a first round talent, bro, they they gonna they gonna take him, bro. They they yep. gonna take him. They're not gonna I'm with you. Around. They're not gonna mess around. If their guy's sitting there going in tomorrow, they're not gonna mess around. Right. All right, um, let's talk about this. Uh, Trey, okay, so yeah, all these are good, good running backs. I like this group. It's a good group of running backs. All right, um, tight ends, <laughs> tight ends. Ben uh, Sinat, and then the rest of these guys are undrafted. They're on the list, but they're day three undrafted type free guys agents, or right. undrafted guys. Undrafted free agents, right here, man. We're gonna take a tight end and draft the free agents. Like you also got to think about the number of picks we got too, right? With the knees that we have, they're gonna take. They're gonna probably try to get one of these guys as an undrafted free agent. So, I, I, so not. I mean, that based on that math, we have to take him in the fourth. So, but we'll see. Ah, <clears throat> right, but yeah. I don't even know. I don't know who the, hell the other two are. Yeah, I don't know these guys either. To be honest with you, um. But yeah, those are the tight ends that I have. Pause. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. Offensive line. So three offensive linemen. Um, again, this is tackle and um and uh and interior guys. So what this tells me, going back to your earlier point, Dave, like this tells me that they probably gonna look at a guy, but it's gonna be either a day three guy. Day three guy. Or you know a fringe you know third round guy. It's yeah. not like they not really like trying to be overly thirsty with the offensive line guys. No, they're not. They're gonna they're gonna probably draft one of these guys. Like we got a fifth round pick, right? So we'll probably take one of these guys in the fifth or the sixth round. Yeah, yeah. So, and I like I like Patrick Paul a lot too. I do like him, but I don't think yeah. Base. This is the only this that guy. That's a third round that's an early third round grade yep early I, third round i could see us do it but i, don't I can see it too i can, I can see, see us it. do it i can see us do it i can see us do it none of these guys are centers either which no. is interesting. no that's a whole different discussion but yep <laughs> what's next what's next up for bid all right um dave here all we go. right now we're talking Wide receivers. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. If if Brian Thomas Jr. happens to fall, right, and he's sitting there at thirty three, I could see us going ahead and taking Brian Thomas. That that like that's what I was that's what I was talking about. But 
I broke these down by round, right? So you can see the second round, third round, and day three. I was going to do it for all the, the guys, but then I, I got busy and couldn't do it. Um, but this is what you're looking at. And shout out to uh, Dev, DL, and shout out to Carlo. Brendan Rice is actually in Charlotte. He's vi- about to visit um, right now. You know what I mean, it, as we speak. Hmm. As we speak. You know what I mean? So, um, th- th- just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. All right. Uh, this this is where we at. This is what we looking like. So, Leggett, Worthy, Polk, uh, McMillan, McC- uh, Makai Corley. This is this is a, a nice, nice list of, of wide receivers. And I gotta be honest with you, bro. I wouldn't be mad at not their name on this list. I like nope. all these guys. I mean, if you take them where they're supposed to be taken, right? I'm not saying, I'm not saying, oh, oh let's go take Brendan Rice in the second round. That's not what I'm saying. If, if Brian you can get any of these guys where they're supposed to be taken, I like this list. If Brian Thomas Jr. is sitting there at 33. We're definitely gonna take him, but would you take Worthy at thirty nine if he's sitting there? Get a boom boom. Uh man, I away? like it, bro. <sighs> I would. I mean, if I mean, because you've already decided, or maybe even uh, Leggett would be considered a reach, but I like Leggett, man. And boy, he country, super country, country. You hear me? I mean, but I wouldn't be mad at Tez in the third. I like I like Corley. I like I, Corley I, I like a lot. If Corley really, uh, if if I if I had a pick of uh of my third round pick of those three, I like I like Corley a lot. I like McMillan too. I like them both, but I like Corley a lot. There's, they've said a lot about this wide receiver class and how strong it is too. I mean, a lot. They're saying this could be one of the best wide receiver classes of all time, like the Twitter, the Twitter folks. So we'll see. It'll be interesting. But you know, I think this is a, this pretty much shows you that you should not be shocked that we take two, whether it's both in the second, one second, one third, one second and super late, third round and super late. Just don't be shocked. I, I, think I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know that we're gonna take two because when you think about it, where where are these guys going to? Like you got you got wide receivers. Like are, okay, we got like, wide receivers. They, no, I'm saying we got body. I'm not saying they're all good. I'm just saying we have we have guys. Think about it. Drafting um, two would be hard because you Thiel is gonna make the team. Yes. Deontay Johnson is gonna make the team. Yes. Mingo's gonna make the team. Yes. ISM is gonna make the team. Yes. You're already at four. I know. That's why I'm counting. So then you got you could draft two, then the rest of them guys get cut. But, Terrace. T- well, uh, like got, I said, you got you got David. You brought in David Moore. Oh right? yeah. David Moore's Moore gonna, knows Moore's, the Canelo Moore's, system. Moore's, Moore's gonna make the team. So right? then you're I'm not, really I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna jump out the window and say that. I'm. I'm he could be a camp. I'm not. I don't, let no me way. not say this in the. I'm not. I don't want to say camp body. That's not what I want. But he nah, could be I, there as a veteran presence. Like you could throw him on a practice squad and keep him around to because he knows the system. He could be a teacher. So you could get away with. I, I think it all boils down to what is going to happen with Terrence Marshall. Right? Oh, he's cut. What I, look? I I don't think he makes the team next. I'm a oh, bro. I don't. I, I don't think they, I think they wait and see. No, nah. I think they wait and see, bro. Draft, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna go in and say it right okay. now. If they draft one wide receiver, he is not making this team, guys. I'm gonna go okay, in and say Dave. it you right now. Okay, Dave, let answer this then. Answer this then. Why hasn't it already been done? Because they're gonna wait and see what they can get in, in the position. Ain't that what I just said? Yeah, I know that's what you said, but I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna put it right, I'm gonna put it out there. Like I'm gonna say it. I'm going to say it. If we draft a wide receiver, he ain't gonna be on this fifty-three man roster. He's not. TMJ is out of here if we draft a wide receiver. Well, Point blank. If. We're, we're gonna draft one. So that we're means he's gone. He this gone. Is pretty apparent. Like with all these visits. Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. To yeah. No, I'm one. with you. I'm just. I wanted. I just want clarity because I don't want none of y'all motherfuckers coming into these streets talking about TMJ could have a bounce back. No, no, no. That's over. They've already drafted a replacement last year. If they draft another guy, it's over. 
I don't think I think Ming, Mingo's fine either way. But then Ming, if they draft two, Mingo Mingo is no, but not really because Thielen probably only got a year left. You can keep Mingo around. You can keep Mingo right. around, even if you draft two. Know. It's it's tough, bro. Like it. I, but I if you draft can... one, TMJ's out of here, guys. He's gone. It's, it's gonna be interesting. I I don't see two. I, here's why I don't. I don't see them drafted two wide receivers. I see them that they are. Co- this is CYA. All right. If I don't go wide, re- if I don't pick a wide receiver in the second round, where can I get a guy? That's that's yeah. what they're doing. I can get one in the third round. I can get a decent guy in the in the, in day three. That's what they're trying to do. They're just hedging their bets. So if they don't go go get one in the second round. They just seeing where they are because they're this. This is a long list, but they're not all in the top. They're they're guys from every part of the draft, and it just makes sense. It just makes sense what they're doing. So I I definitely think if the right guy's sitting there at thirty three, they're gonna take them. Uh, but if they don't, now you got Corley, you got McMillan, all sitting guys sitting in the third round. And if they feel good about those guys, they probably won't take a guy in the second round. Yeah. I just so, I think I think you draft one one wide receiver that we've drafted recently is definitely gonna be gone. If you draft two, one's definitely gone, the other one's on notice. That's just my opinion. I think Mingo's gonna stick around because they gotta they they gotta think about the long term. And even Steve Smith Sr. said Mingo's gonna need three years. Now it's a matter of whether or not this new I, don't, is going I think, to I think it get interesting if they if they take a guy like like Leggett. I I think you you start to have a lot of the same guy like the same type of receiver on your roster, right? Where where is the um where is the versatility in your wide receivers, right? You you got Leggett, big guy, uh, fast, uh, you know, deep, solid route runner. Mingo, same thing. Terrace Marshall, I think all those guys kind of fit in the same type of box. Um, and then you got it. The ver- I think just think we need some versatility there. I, so I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what they're gonna do. I, I don't know what they're gonna do. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Next up for bid. <laughs> all right. Well, that that was it for the bid. I didn't do the quarterbacks, but uh, so I did the the way what I did was I did the odds. Based on these visits, like where are these guys listed, um, and here are the odds. Again, just solely based on visits, right? This is in the public ones. Okay, so if you look in the second round, right, we spent forty percent of our visits right there on wide receivers. Okay, that are in this in the in the second round. Next up to that is linebacker, and then after that, you got cornerback quarterback tackle edge and running back so if we if we were to do a, a hypothetical draft i mean we would take in this instance a, wide receiver, a second right? a wide receiver yeah and then our next one would be a linebacker or another wide receiver but most likely or another wide receiver most or likely another wide receiver. so third round and again if you go based on the third round uh you know wide receiver again we spent a lot of our visits uh, a lot of the picks that are, are within that third round, the bulk of them are wide receivers. Okay, then running back, and then offensive tackle on the edge. So if I'm if I'm lining up a mock draft, it's a decent chance our our guys are gonna go in. We're probably gonna pick up a running back in the third round. How you feel about that, day? We're gonna have to keep Miles Sanders, unfortunately. But I mean, there, I mean, we did. I wouldn't be mad at if we, I wouldn't be mad edge. if we take a running back in the first. Yo, we could end up being like what rules first year end up drafting nothing but offensive guys. Wouldn't that be wild? Like that's very possible based on these percentages. I think the only one that I like the only position that's defensively that's over that's twenty percent and above is linebacker. Everything else, it's below ten percent or twelve and a half. So we could have a situation where we just draft nothing but offensive guys in this draft. Wouldn't be shocked. We've got an offensive guy now. We got an offensive coach. So but look at it, man. You got a 10% in the second round of being an edge guy or a DT. 12 and a half percent chance you're gonna be an edge. And you and all the defensive players on day three are 
nine percent. Like we might mess around and go all offense in this draft, or at least maybe we might only draft one defensive guy. But I think we're primarily going to be working on the offense in this draft. We'll I think see. linebackers probably the only I, I position think, we're curious about taking. I think I think we'll get at least a, a linebacker in a, a, No, that's what I'm saying. Line, I think linebackers. Yeah, lineback, are linebacker. We're about taking. Yeah. Yeah, linebacker and edge. I think I do think we walk away with the edge uh on this in this draft too. But just based on the percentages, again, second round, third round, you could you could, like some people are saying, looking at a double dip. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as them, you know, kind of hedging their bets, just seeing what else is there. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I, I like I like that list. Shout out to Panthers analysts on, on X for putting that uh that compiling that list of the visits. Because I think that uh, it definitely lends its hand to kind of where the Panthers are thinking and where they're putting their eggs at, right? Like, they're doing a lot of work on the wide receivers. Mm-hmm. A lot of work on the wide receivers. And, um, and again, one could say, you could walk away with it saying, yeah, we're going to draft one. Uh, we're going to draft multiple. You could you could say that. I don't see it. I just think I look at it as them doing due diligence across all rounds to make sure that if they don't get one, in said second round or third, maybe what what can we get in the third? What can we get in day four? I think it's all just kind of hedging your bets here. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. All right, so my bad. They're saying I missed one with with Sanders visiting tomorrow. So that's my bad. I I didn't see that one. I might have okay. that one might have popped what, out what, after. What's his so ranking? If you add, yeah. If you add another tight end, uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. What what's his what's his grade? Why? Why you look him up? I want to make. Some, I want to say something about this comment right here. I think at the end of the day, we're going to be out here. All the hype that this quarterback class has, has been talking until up until we got into the the scouting portion of the of the program, we're going to look at this draft class and realize that this draft class of quarterbacks ain't nearly as good as what we thought it was going to be. We're going to say that last year's draft class was better. And I'm not saying that to try to cape for back Bryce Young. I just don't think. And I've and I've heard from multiple scouts who feel the same way. Folks in the league that feel the same way. They don't think this quarterback class is that good. They're not yeah, worth so the Dave, price of admission that a lot of folks are taking. I All agree right. with that too. Um, but uh, Dave Sanders is the second round pick. Okay. Second round pick. So that, 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 that high, bro. That will that will ch- that will change the numbers a bit. Um uh, we we only we still only had uh the other two were day three picks, so it, it will shift it a little bit. Um, but still, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, that was all I had, Dave. That was all I had for That's today. It? I'm I'm struggling over. Yeah, yeah, I'm struggling over here a little bit. Oh look, man, <laughs> I can tell but, you out here giving sure. good thing that diseases don't happen with mics. Because man, I would have been as sick as a dog. All right, but. No, I, I no, I, but I'm serious about the quarterback class, bro. Like I, I've talked to folks; they're not impressed with the, the, they're not as impressed considering the price of admission. Like I, I mean, they they cool on Caleb. I mean, they're cool on Jalen, and after that, it, it gets it get interesting. I, a lot of folks aren't a lot of folks ain't about that Drake May life. I'm gonna be clear when I say that. I think Penix. I think Penix is gonna be solid. I'm still on the Penix, Penix train. I think Penix is gonna be. I think Penix is gonna potentially be the still of the draft. If you're willing to take the injury risk with them, that's my opinion. But I don't. I think the way, like right now, they got him down as like an early second round. They ain't got him going in the first. He gonna end up being the steal of the draft. But yeah, yeah, everybody's mad <laughs> about Lad, huh? Lad ain't make the list, man. Listen, listen, Lad. They, there's still time. There's plenty of time. A week and a half. I mean, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Everybody's saying Bo Nix is legit, man. I can't remember the last great Oregon quarterback to play in the NFL. Can you? Don't do Mariota like that, bro. I was talking about Joey Harrington, but okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't, Mariota wasn't that bad. But, I was, but, like, I was talking about Joey Harrington. Oh, man, he was bad, bro. <laughs> yeah. 
That's crazy. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so anything else we got? <clears throat> Herbert played for Oregon? Tell me how much I know. Oh, yeah, he did. He did yes, play right. for Oregon. My bad, man. All right, y'all got me. Y'all got me. Just, Fine. Just, y'all got me. Just, and that was going to be our pick. But rule, but rule stopped Herney from trading to go get him. That's who he wanted. Herney wanted Herbert. All right. Enough Herberts. Tell you how much I watch, watch Power 5 College. We ain't even talk about no national championship. And we'll let you go, man. Is UConn a blue blood? Yes or no? Say what? Is UConn a blue blood? Yes or no? Uh, they used to be. They have to be. Um, I mean, they they are now. Yeah, with the the. Back uh, they were before. Like, what are we talking about here? Mm. <laughs> it was there. They had some down. They were they were mid. But uh, my thing is, when you're once a blue blood, always a blue blood. When you got six championships, okay, if, you're a blue blood. If you're gonna go that right, yeah, then I agree. I agree. All right. In South Carolina out here, three years they lost three games. Shout out to UConn, even though that was that was I I was way more interested. Shout out to uh, the ladies. Oh yeah, I was too. Yeah, way yeah. South Carolina interested. undefeated. I, I posted bro, on that Twitter. game. That game was great too, bro. That game was great. Even the though South Carolina Iowa, Iowa game calls. was great. It was a good game though. Hell of a game. That was that game was great, bro. That was a good game. That was better than the Miss National Championship game. Oh, I could He's completely easily. Agree. I completely agree. And I, and the thing is, like, I, for me, it boils down to like because of the one and duns and the portal, the portal is more rampant on the men's side. I can't be keeping track of where these cats are, bro. Like, I just can't. I I, I don't have to. I, I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's just too much. But you know, but you know, you know, they're gonna be celebrating up here in, in stores, Connecticut, you know, but but they're also gonna be celebrating in Columbia, South Carolina. And I'm trying to figure out who the hell's gonna be South Carolina on the lady side. Yeah, they, they replaced they all their starters this back. year, bro, and they went undefeated. Yeah, they, got lot, they got a lot coming back too. And they had, and then, and they had freshmen off the bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They I don't know. Her, they sent her leaving though. They sent her leaving, but uh, she and she nice too. Don't matter. They lost all five it, of their it, starters it, it, last it kinda year. Did, it it kind of does matter that particular position in that game, bro. Without her, she had seventeen boards. She was killing Iowa. Oh yeah, that matters. Oh, yeah. That if you don't replace that, bro. So I mean, I was got to replace Kalen Clark. It, that's true. Yeah, we we're not. Gonna, by the way, we're never gonna see Iowa again. I just want y'all to know that. So 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 say bye to Iowa. It's been real. You know, it was a fun ride. It's gonna be UConn and South Carolina in the final next year. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that down because Paige is coming back. Paige is coming back for another year. So I think it's gonna be them too. Should be interesting though. I'm just trying to figure out who the heck's gonna be South Carolina next year. They were monster on folks all season last year with five five uh, starters. So. So what what you say then? What 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 we say for the national championships? The South na- Carolina, the, UConn. The, the national the national champion, South Carolina, Gamecocks. So, you know what's they, funny? There was a discussion about whether or not there's actually Lady Gamecocks. There's no such thing as a Lady Gamecock. So of course, we, there's no such thing as Lady Cox. You can't say that, Dave. Come on, no. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> Come on, you can't say that. You can't say that, Dave. Uh, you heard about you heard about there was a young lady getting um I can't remember her name right now, but I guess she's getting an interview with the Charlotte Hornets to be the head coach. I saw that. I saw that. Name escapes me right now, but shout out to her. Hope she gets it. Maybe somebody. Maybe she'll go up in there and fix the Hornets, man. But we'll see. But, yeah, but yeah, man, right, I got I got to get out of here. No, nah, shut I'm, it down, I'm, man. I'm I just wanted to, I, I, we had to talk about that. We talked about WrestleMania and everything else. We didn't talk about that. We had it. We had to hit yeah, that up. Sure, we close sure. out. Lauren that's Harden, that's her name. Good. Just remember the name, Lauren Harden. Shout out to her, man. I hope she kills and gets the job. But all right, <laughs> y'all are wild in the chat. That being said, man, we holler at y'all like, subscribe, notification bell. I'm struggling. We out of here. <laughs> Peace. Peace.